Hey everyone, this is Rochelle from Multiple Passive Streams of Income. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button so you're notified every time I upload a video. This week, I want to do a shorter video. What I want to focus on is my progress with Hashflare and Cryptera. So let's start out with Hashflare. So far in my account, I have 0.097 Bitcoin, which is valued at about $1,113.23. And Bitcoin is trading now at about 11,400, a little above that currently. In my Hashflare account for people who are new to the channel, I am mining 21 mega hash of Bitcoin and this contract is a one-year contract with Hashflare. Now I started my investment with Hashflare on December 6th of 2017. So we're at the 89 day mark, uh, a little bit less than three months of investing or mining I should say. And the other thing you should know about my account is that in January I did withdraw 0.05 Bitcoin and at that time it was worth $740. Now let's move over to Cryptera and first I just want to talk about my progress with Cryptera and then we'll talk about uh, the lingering issues with Cryptera. As far as Cryptera, uh, right now in my account as you can see I have $368 from my mining efforts. Uh, Ethereum is worth about $865 when I last looked at it. And I am mining 79.2 mega hash of Ethereum and I am in a two year contract with Cryptera. I've been mining with Cryptera since January 7th of this year. And this is about the 56 day mark, so a little less than two months of mining with Cryptera. The other piece of information is that I did make a withdrawal that was worth about $155 and that was on January 20th. So now that I've laid out the facts of both mining contracts, let's look at each contract as far as how close I am to the break even point. If we look at Hashflare, I invested $3,150 to mine 21 terahash of Bitcoin. If you take the value of the mining in Hashflare today, which is about $1,113, and you add the withdrawal of $740 that I took in January, the worth of my mining is about $1,853. So I'm about halfway to the break even point at the 87th day of this investment. Now, I'm hopeful that Bitcoin will make new highs in 2018. And if so, that break even point will even occur faster. Now, let's take a look at Cryptera. I started this investment with $540 and that allows me to mine 79.2 mega hash of Ethereum. If we take today's value of the mining, that amounts to $368 and if you add the withdrawal that I took in January of $155, the value of my mining is $523. Now that makes me $17 away from break even on the 56th day of this investment. Remember Cryptera has a two year contract. So if it is true that Cryptera will allow withdrawals in the next 72 hours, I should be at the break even point. And if I'm allowed to withdraw money from this account, I basically will have about 21 plus months of profitability with this two year contract. So now let's dive into the recent dysfunctionality with Cryptera. As you know, on their Twitter account, it was not updated since February 11th. And we recently received some tweets a couple of days ago from Cryptera advising that they have worked on their payment gateway 
and they're almost finished with it and in the next 72 hours people who want to purchase new contracts and also pay out their funds will be able to do so now we know Cryptera has a different clock than the world their 72 hours may be two weeks but ultimately if that gateway problem is fixed and when it is fixed again I would be very happy because that would allow me to withdraw my original investment and everything else would be gravy at that point. Next, let's look at their second tweet on March 1st. Cryptera is promising to have some live camera video of their data centers as well as a full report about everything that went down with their company in the last two months. I hope that they will fulfill that promise because it will allow people to have some more trust in this company as well as adding legitimacy to what has been a very spotty track record. And their last tweet on March 1st concerns them acknowledging that there have been problems with their mail delivery and they also hope to have those problems sorted out in 72 hours. I also know from looking at some other YouTubers that people have had problems with logging into their accounts. Uh, I did not have that problem, but I can say that with a lot of these mining companies, sometimes I'll hit a glitch on one browser and I'm usually able to get around that glitch by using a different browser. So if you're having log on problems, maybe you should try the three major browsers, which is Internet Explorer, Chrome, and Firefox. And hopefully that will allow you to get past any login glitches. If not, I would say try to tweet them or try to email them. And hopefully when all of these problems and glitches are fixed by Cryptera, that will be one of the glitches that will be fixed in the near future, hopefully. To round out this video, I want to discuss the other streams of income that I'm involved with. As you know, I am holding Ripple XRP. And as always, Ripple is acquiring new business and starting new pilot programs with a lot of different banks and institutions around the world. And even with all of that news, it just never seems that Ripple's price goes up. In fact, it is down from last week. I think it's trading around 91 cents today. I did buy it at 70 cents, so that investment is fine so far, but that's a long-term investment. And again, I'm holding Ripple, so we'll see what happens in the near future. The last stream of income that I'm working on is my online cryptocurrency theme tees and hoodies and that is price-pop.com right now that situation hasn't had really any progress i'm not sure where i'm going to go with that situation as of this week i will be using next week to continue to try to teach myself and uh try to figure out what i can do to turn that investment around um, as of last week, you know, I've been trying Instagram influencers as well as an AdWords campaign and working with a Google AdWords rep. That has not really panned out into any sales. In fact, I've only gotten one sale from a complete stranger and all the other sales were from friends. And again, thanks everyone who have, have supported and bought some of my merchandise. But ultimately, the cost is just too much for one sale. So I put a halt on those two advertisement avenues. And the only thing I have running right now is a Facebook custom audience lookalike campaign. I'm paying $5 a day for that. And so far, that isn't looking good either. In fact, less visitors came to the store in the last couple of days. So all in all, mining is doing great. Ripple is steady. Again, long-term investment with that situation. Price pop 
We'll see where we go, and I will definitely do updates on that when I have them. Let's see if Bitcoin can get past this $12,000 resistance point. In my estimation, if it can pop over 12K, it probably will start to climb higher with not as much resistance. And again, hopefully 2018, we make new highs. Thank you for listening. Thanks to all my subscribers. I definitely look forward to speaking to you next week with more progress reports. Again, take care of yourselves as well as others. Take care.